Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. I have been solving math problems for GRE out of this book here, practicing to take the GRE general test, the 10th edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 242, quantitative comparison question number 12. Number 12, of course, is one of the last five, 11 through 15, those are hard questions. And hard questions simply means uh, they're not necessarily hard, they're not uh, hard necessarily because they involve uh, very complicated math, it just means that they involve some kind of twist, some kind of uh, uh, knowledge that you need, that uh, some people don't have it, a uh, majority of people do not have it, and they miss it. Only 35% of the people who took the exam got this particular question right. As you will see in a, few, in, 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 in a couple of minutes, it's actually not that bad. Let's see what we can do here. PA, PB, and PC are angle bisector of ABC. Angle bisector of ABC. Right there, they prob there were there there were probably a few casualties. Uh, and when I say few casualties, I mean few thousand casualties because this exam was given back in the old days, paper and pencil format, where all the people who were taking the GRE were taking the exam at the same time at a certain date so in a year and of course hundreds of thousands of people were taking the exam at a given time and right there they probably lost a few thousand people uh, by going around uh, announcing to the whole village that PA, PB and PC are angle bisector. What does it mean angle bisector? Well it means exactly what it says. What does it mean to bisect? Bisect means to cut something into half. Make two equal parts. Bisect as opposed to trisect. Cutting something into three equal parts. Angle bisector means, for example, let's look at PA. Where is PA? There you go. So here's your A, here's your B, and here's my C. Let me change the color again. It never hurts to make it a little bit more dramatic. PA. From here to here. I'm told that this is x degrees. Well, if this is x degrees, and so is this one. That's what it means, angle bisector. Because you see, this is my P here. P A, cut this angle A into two equal parts. That's what, what they mean by angle bisector. Then they go on to say P B. Where is P B? P B is on the top there. This is 33 degrees, I'm told. I'm told that this part is 33 degrees. Well, if this is 33 degrees, then so is this one, because PB bisects the angle B into two equal parts. Since PB bisects, cuts this angle B, which is this entire part here, this angle B, into two equal parts, and one of those parts is 33, then the other also has to be 33. I'm also told that uh, PC. PC, this is y degrees, so therefore this must also be y degrees. That's all. What's the question asking? They want you to compare quantity x plus y versus 70. or rather 57. So let's see what we can do. There are basic things in geometry that one must know if one is to take the exam. And one of the basic things that you need to know about the, about the geometry is that in any triangle, regardless of the shape of the triangle, in any triangle, the sum of all three angles of the triangle has to add up to 180. That tells me that this angle here, angle B, which is 33 plus 33. Oh jeez, change the color. Angle A plus angle B plus angle C has to add up to 180. I hope you know that. 
Well, that tells me that angle A, which is this angle right here, x and x, two axes, two axes make up angle A, two axes. Angle B, which is 33 plus 33, 2 times 33. And angle C, which is 2 times y, have to add up to 180. I'm going to subtract 66 from both sides. So 2x plus 2y equals 180 minus 66. 180 minus 66. Well, I know 180 minus 60 is 120, so it's got to be 114. 2 times x plus y is 114, and therefore x plus y is simply 114 over 2. 11 goes into 2 5 times. 11 goes into 2 5 times, where with the remaining 10, uh, remaining 1 goes over here, becomes 14. 14 goes into 2 7 times. Oh, what do you know? Voila! x plus y turns out to be exactly 57. These two sides are equal. These two columns are equal, and therefore the answer is C. That's all. We're done. I hope you understood what I did here. 114 over 2. 11 goes into it 5 times, 1 carry 1, this becomes 14, 14 goes into 2 7 times. I hope you found this helpful. If you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring, face-to-face -face personal private tutoring, or through internet, through the skip and the, and the webcam and all that, or if you wish to buy the solution manuals to any of these questions in the book, uh, go to my website at www.prep, P-R-E-P, prep, F-O-R-4, G-R-E, dot com and send me an email all right and we'll talk thanks